Uh, Immerse Arkansas is a three-phase transitional program for youth between the ages of 18 and 24. Through these three phases, uh, we see youth coming in lacking uh, a lot of skills just necessary to sustain daily life as an adult. And through their time, through that first phase to the last phase, uh, we see them ready to undertake much more difficult tasks that uh, most adults take on in daily life, whether that's moving to a new apartment or uh, getting financial aid for school. Well, it's, it's really what all of us need to be successful. Everybody needs relationships with people who they can trust. Everybody needs a foundation. And when I say a foundation, you need you know, good education. You need um, uh, definitely some, some security in who you are. And I think that's probably one of the biggest struggles, just confusion about who am I. So a lot of times a youth coming out of care is not going to have a support network that they need to make that transition. Whereas you and I, we might have had uh, parents that we can call, we have friends that we can call and ask for advice. We can say, how do I get from this point to that point? How do I fix a flat tire? We are trying to create that network uh, through ourselves and then through the community to really help these youth uh, go from um, a, a place of Sometimes it can be fear, it can be confusion, wondering, you know, what do I want to be, who am I, to get from that place to being an integral part of the community and really being able to give back and to, to stand on their own two feet and to, to live as successful, independent adults. As a transitional coach, I meet with the youth one-on-one -on -one, um, weekly and we go through their goals in the domains of education, employment, um, transportation, life skills, self and health care. And we do that weekly, we mark their progress towards and we work on their goals. Um, as a RA, what I do is I'm there for the support to the girls that's there, living there, and um, give them motivation, you know, to be a resource for them whenever they're having troubles or problems, you know, as they transition into adulthood. Every year in Arkansas, approximately 250 youth are gonna age out of foster care and step out into adulthood. That can happen between age 18 and 21. And we're excited about that. While that's a lot of youth, that's not uh, so big of a number that there's no solution for that. That's a, that's a manageable uh, amount of youth that uh, we think that something can be done about that. And we think that if the right people come to the table to say we want to be a part of that solution, that we really can make a significant difference for youth transitioning out of care. But what I found is if you're willing to be available, be loving, um, be yourself, that those relationships do tend to go deeper. It's just a byproduct of, of their lives. I, I really just try to love them. And uh, hopefully over time they will see that I really care about them and I care about their best interest and I want to build trust with them. The solution to this is rooted in a group of people and individuals like you and I coming together and saying, you know what, I've, I've got time that I can help um, somebody that's just wanting uh, some, maybe some advice or a relationship and support and come alongside them and walk th with them through their transition into adulthood. So really to see this happen, it, it's going to take you, it's going to take me, it's going to take a collaboration of uh, a variety of people to, to really create a sustainable solution for youth here in Arkansas. I believe it's the work that all of us should be doing. I don't think that anyone has, anyone who is a believer anyway, who believes in Jesus Christ and believes that they were adopted into God's family, we have no business sitting back and not being involved in the lives of orphans. As I recall, my aunt had um, a lot of issues going at, at the time, and uh, she had uh, brought some DHS people in, and she had claimed that my dad was uh, schizophrenic, that he's suicidal, that he had a gun, and he threatened to shoot everybody in the house. And later on, she had told me we were going clothes shopping. I got in the car. I was asking her why my stuff was in the car, you know, why was there a laundry basket full of my clothes? And she had told me that we were going clothes shopping. Most of the homes, um, you know, I was, had ADHD. 
and I was hyperactive. So they would kick me out because I was too annoying or disturbing. Uh, when I turned 18, an opportunity had uh, presented itself. My uh, family um, was up in New Jersey and I decided that I was gonna move up there. And how I, you know, I was so tired and so afraid of uh, foster care. They wouldn't let me have any contact with my family and I had family out in Conway. So what I did was I got someone I know a few days before to uh, take all my stuff. Would not let the foster parent know what was going on. She didn't, didn't lie in my room. You know, and then the day that I turned 18, I told her that I, actually the night before, I had told her that I was leaving because I was 18 and I was moving up with my family. Living with my dad wasn't exactly what I expected, you know. I thought, you know, he was gonna be the same person as when I'd last seen him. It, it got to be where I was in a constant fear of coming home and that was no different than when I was in foster care. Well, I decided to join a nurse. I um, was speaking with my uh, foster parent, and she had stumbled across it uh, through someone she knew. They said that there was a program that uh, could help me. And I really didn't know what it was about, but I said, okay. And she said something about housing. And I said, well, I want to go find out what it's about. Um, you know, that they'd probably be a good resource to use. They helped me when I got down here to uh, get on my feet. They gave me a place to stay. They gave me food to eat. They gave me um, a connection to, to get a job. Filling out a resume, you know, I couldn't have done that on my own before I got here. You know, just simple things like that. You can honestly sit and blame the world and not go anywhere. Or you can get up, uh, you can try and figure out what you need to do with your life, with yourself. Eventually, uh, with my life, I'd like to get back into school. I'd like to be able to, you know, live like anybody else. I want to get back into school. I want to, you know, go to college for music education, music composition. You know, be able to teach in middle schools or high schools music theory and then write uh, music on the side, you know, like actual piano music. Eventually, you know, if I could, I'd like to go back to school again, you know, for a physics degree.